Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Your community partner brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital, Schuylkill. Uh, and you know Lehigh Valley Hospital Network. They are doing such a great job. Bill Ruffey, he is the, the main man here. He's the uh, vice president of operations for the Northwest region. Um, now, folks, this show is seen on YouTube. Uh, it's seen on Comcast 190. Uh, it's also seen on Channel 513 and 13 service electric and also in the Wilkesbury mountaintop area on channel 92 so uh, all of our health shows are there and also on our website um, and I want to congratulate you I've said this many times um, uh, Tammy and I've had these discussions and Mike we, t we talk about the show and what it has done for the community and bringing um, a, a lot of great information like we'll have today but the interesting thing is when people come up to me and my wife or for, they'll see us and what they'll say is, you know, you saved our lives. You know, we've saved so many people's lives by watching the show and learning. So, and you know, one thing about Lehigh Valley Health Network, um, you know, you do a lot, but you guys invest in the community. You invest in the people, and I think that's great, Bill. Uh, it's, it's critically important. Obviously, we're a deliverer of health care, but not, not all health care is delivered inside a hospital building. And so it's critically important for us to have outreach and programs because I agree with you that by people being uh, educated and knowledgeable, we can save a lot of lives. So we're, we're happy to do things in our community as well. And there's a lot of nice growth going on. So let's talk about, you know, uh, you know, what expansions is happening and we're gonna bring some interesting doctors on. Of course, we'll bring Dr. Abbasi on, no stranger yes. to the show, uh, but there's a lot of great things happening. No, absolutely. Uh, we continue to evolve and grow and continue to add services. So here you may remember we added a brand new MRI unit a, uh, about a year ago, and we heard from our community that uh, it wasn't convenient to access our MRI. And so we added some additional parking, and now the parking is uh, directly adjacent to the MRI, so you can walk right in, register right in the MRI suite, and be taken care of. In our region, in Hazleton, uh, we continue to, to work on our cancer center, our regional cancer center, state-of-the-art technology. Uh, expect to open that in August. Plans are going very well. Construction's on, t on time. As long as the supply chain doesn't fall apart, we'll open that in, Jan in uh, August. And then finally in the region, we have uh, our expansion in carbon. So we talked about carbon opening. Uh, so we opened in June. And by August, we had planned an expansion, and construction is underway. We're adding uh, ICU beds there and, and at some additional beds because the carbon community has really embraced Lehigh Valley Health Network, and so we're happy to be adding on there as well. So you're talking about recruiting people for your nursing school, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, like everyone, uh, you know, we're struggling to find staff. So we're being very creative, Sam, in uh, doing scholarships. And actually, we can have nurses attend our nursing program here in Pottsville completely free. Wow. So uh, we'll sub completely subsidize their tuition. Uh, of course, we ask them to work for us after they're finished school. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's critically important for us to make sure that we have the caregivers at the bedside. Keeping uh, a close watch on what's happening in health care, you know, um, it's, it, I tell people all the time that when you're going to um, your doctor and you're getting an opinion, sometimes people say, well, why don't you get a second opinion? What you don't understand is that sometimes you're getting more than a second opinion. And I bring this up all the time because I have a, a good friend of mine who has, um, was diagnosed with cancer and he's, uh, Mike Evans has been doing a great Dr. job Evans and thank God he's coming along. But, you know, he said when we first went there, he said we were concerned about, you know, so I get a second opinion. I, so, well, they said, and then we found out that they, they consult with so many other people. Well, that's, yes. that's an interesting process. No, absolutely. Well, our Cancer Institute, is, is, as well as our other institutes, really it's a collegial and collaborative effort. So uh, we have conferences every day in our Cancer Institute to talk about our patients. And so when, when you pre are presented as a case there, there might be 30 doctors in the room. There might be 50 doctors in the room, depending on what's going on. Yeah. And so you are getting multiple opinions, uh, at each and every case. And, you know, Mike Evans is a phenomenal doctor. We're yeah. so thrilled to have him here in Schuylkill and in Hazleton. He works at both of our cancer centers. And, and we have, through our partnership with Memorial Sloan Kettering, really been able to change lives in this region. Yeah. What's really exciting before we, we, we bring the main man on, Dr. Abbasi? Well, it's just the growth of our, of our hospital. So besides what we're doing here in, in our region, in the Northwest region, we announced a neighborhood hospital in McCungie.
Hmm. So it's a brand new approach to healthcare. A neighborhood hospital is a very small hospital, typically 10 ER beds and 10 inpatient beds. It's really about getting access in close to our customers, our patients. And so we're trying this new model. It's new to the eastern part of the United States. It's been well tested in the Midwest. Uh, and so uh, we're really excited to announce that new hospital. That'll be our 13th hospital uh, in Lehigh Valley Health Network, but a very different model. So low acuity patients, but the ER is a full service ER. So there's MR, there's CT, there's everything you need to be diagnosed. And if it's not a real acute illness, we can keep you there. If it's more acute, then we're going to transfer you to one of our other centers. I like that. It, it, uh, that neighborhood, that's a great I, concept. I, I think that's fabulous concept. Yeah, it's, that's fant fabulous. Now, um, uh, Dr. Bossi is uh, be coming up. He's the, um, uh, the <laughs> he'll be talking about the new uh, clinicians we have. Right. right. We we have several new doctors that have been uh, have joined Schuylkill uh, since our last show. And more coming. So Dr. Abbasi has been appointed our medical director for Hazleton and Schuylkill. Mm -hmm. And so he'll talk about some of the doctors that have joined us and some of the doctors are here that will also speak with you that have recently joined us. We continue to recruit physicians as well as other clinicians. I think that's fantastic. Terry was on the last show we had, talked about all the new people, the doctors you're putting on, I think they said. And I'd like to find out from the doctors, you know, what are the reasons why they came to Lehigh Valley Health Network, okay? Uh, Bill Reppy is no stranger. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to your community partner, uh, brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital Schuylkill. Uh, we are here today um, talking about the great things that are happening in the healthcare area. Uh, my good friend here, Dr. Bossi, who is the medical director for the physician group for Hazleton Schuylkill. You were on the show before and there was a lot of great things you talked about. Yeah. There's even more great things to talk about. Okay? Always. So your position, tell me about your position. So I'm the uh, medical director for Hazleton and Schuylkill for the physicians group. And my primary responsibilities um, being uh, facilitating quality, the pa patient access, experience, and uh, overall uh, physician wellness, and really being the voice of the community uh, to the network. So making sure we get the you know resources, care resources for everybody here. What have you learned so far in your position? Because you've been there for a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. What have you, what have you discovered or learned? Or I've learned it's good to look and listen. <laughs> and not rush into things. Yeah. Uh, but uh, truthfully, I think um, I think we do. I learned also that we have a wider variety of resources here already, um, and we've done a lot, especially in the past year, uh, in hiring uh, many new and wonderful providers to uh, to um, treat the region. So I think uh, between Hazleton and Schuylkill. So I think we have a lot of. Um, resources between Hazleton and Schuylkill that can actually be, that can work together yeah. to serve the entire region rather than just looking at it as Hazleton and Schuylkill. You have some new ones coming on, some general surgeons and they are? Yeah, Dr. Uh, Neil Fisher and Dr. Daniel Bobrowski. And so Dr. Neil Fisher and Bobrowski have been kind of practicing in this area, but now really join forces with us as part of uh, the Institute of uh, Surgical Excellence uh, for Lehigh Valley. So uh, really excited. Dr. Neil Fisher is, uh, has special, in they're both board certified uh, general surgeons and Dr. Uh, Neil Fisher has interest in um, gallbladder surgery and Dr. Bobrowski a special interest in vascular surgery. Dr. Guerrero is a, a board certified general surgeon also who has special fellowship training in vascular surgery. And Dr. Uh, Pancholi, who you meet later, is a podiatrist who is board certified by the American Academy of Foot and Ankle Surgery, as well as uh, the American uh, Board for Wound Care. So she has double boarded in, in those type of specialties. So really excited for you to meet her as she joins Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institutes. Um, finally, we have Dr. Darren Doran, really happy to have him back. He's excited to be back to the area. Uh, he's practicing at the Frackville Family Medicine location. Uh, he's actually a native of this uh, Schuylkill area. Um, he sees a wide variety of uh, patient ages from uh, any age. He'll see any age, anybody. Um, and he will, uh, he's uh, interested in uh, procedures, dermatologic procedures, injections, and he'll also is involved in uh, gender affirmation uh, uh, treatments, uh, medications, as well as HIV preventative treatment and uh, and uh, prevention and treatment. It fascinates me because there's there's a, such an array of doctors you have, you know, the network, and so um, when you have a specific problem, of course you go to your family physician and then they'll then they'll say, okay, we recommend you go into a, you know a certain. But to find out who some of these doctors are and what they have to offer. 
Um, that's on you know your website. You could you could go and learn about who the doctor Bossy is or Doctor Lasant or whatever. And I find that interesting because what you have here in Lehigh Valley Health Network are amazing doctors. I mean, just they're amazing, and uh, they they put their heart and soul into it. And that's what I like about a doctor. You know? oh, that's what I like about it, and that's why I want to be director and of the physician group is to really to promote them and yeah. and bring up the whole team. And you're getting good people. Absolutely. Uh, you guys are getting good people. Absolutely. And we're going to meet these good people uh, right after this break. Welcome back to your community uh, partner brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital Schuylkill. My friends, uh, this is uh, an organization that just keeps on raising the bar in health care. Uh, it's so nice to talk to the individual doctors and to find out about them and we're, we're thrilled to have you on uh, Susan Medali, right? Yes. Okay. Susan, tell me about yourself. She smile. I love her smile. I'm a family doctor and obstetrician, which means that See, I... now, here's the point. <laughs> she looks like she's 18 years old, okay? But she's not 18 years old. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Family doctor, go ahead. I'm so sorry. I'm lucky enough to be able to take care of patients from the day they're born, through their pregnancy, deliver their baby, take care of them after, take care of the dads, take care of the entire family all in one visit to our office all at one particular doctor's visit. And where are you located at? I'm at the Schuylkill Medical Plaza. Yeah, okay, tell me about yourself. Why, why did you decide to go into medicine? I always wanted to go into medicine. I always wanted to give back to my community, to be able to take care of people, get to know people, hear their stories. It's always been really a Anyone passion. in your family in the medical uh, profession? No, I'm the first one for a while. Yeah, and you're f from Bloomsburg, right? I grew up in Bloomsburg, yeah. yes. So you decided to go into medicine when you were in grade school or high school, etc.? It was pretty much the plan from the beginning. I uh, didn't waver. It took a lot of hard work, but I'm really happy that I made that choice. I, I know you love it. You, you just love it. So why did you decide to go into family medicine and, and maybe not go into another area of medicine? I like that I can take care of everybody. I can take care of an entire family all at once, get to hear their story, watch the kids grow up is just the best thing ever to see them go from, you know, prenatal in the mom's belly all the way up That's until great. adulthood and maybe change their path in life. It's fascinating because when you're dealing with a baby, okay, the baby can't say, my stomach hurts or, you know, you have to know what you're doing, etc. You know, it's uh, it's interesting, isn't it? It absolutely is. Yeah. So what's, what are the most exciting things that that this has happened to you in, in family medicine? So I'm really lucky to be a part of our residency program. The residency program just opened in June. The first year we get to have medical graduates who are getting their medical journey started. And so to be able to foster their education and make them into physicians who will hopefully also stay in the community and give mm -hmm. back is really important to me. Have you seen a, a, a major change in the practice of family medicine from maybe back five, six, seven years? There's so many advances that is happening in medicine. Have you seen that? Absolutely. I think as family doctors, we can do more and more. We all have little specialties, things that we like and do more of, um, are able to provide wider range of procedures and medications, and then rely on our colleagues to, to help us out after we have exhausted our resources. Now, speaking of exhaustion, okay, um, how do you stay as chipper from the first patient and then the last patient when you had that full day and now you have to be as chipper with that beautiful smile. How do you do that? Uh, it's really the patients themselves. You know, they come in, they don't know that they're my last patient of the day. They don't know what kind of day I've had. You don't say you're my last patient, I'm, I get, don't <laughs> I'm get on my nerves. I'm ready to get out the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, and they, they just come in and see me. They have their own problems and concerns. So every time you walk into a patient room, it feels like the first patient. That's good. I could tell you love what you do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you the best. You're with the best hospital network. There's I no agree. Question, there's no question about it. Uh, so anything you'd like to tell our viewers before we go and we meet Dr. Pancholi? So we do, as I said, newborn to end of life care. We have our four amazing medical residents who are also doing full spectrum family medicine and going on their long journey. 
In addition to our new doctor in Frackville, I do gender affirming hormone care. Um, so we have a little bit of everything yes. in the Schuylkill Medical Plaza yeah. just up the street. Do you have any uh, brothers or sisters? I have a brother. Yeah. Is he a doctor? No, he's an engineer. Oh, he's an engineer. Okay. Well, you keep, you keep that wonderful attitude, okay? Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Uh, now let's meet Dr. Pencholi. And now uh, Dr. Mita Pencholi, my friends, she is orthopedic sports medicine and uh, podiatry. Okay. Yes. All right. Now tell me about yourself, Mita. So I'm coming from the private practice space, um, and I was invited by Lehigh Valley to come and join their network. So I'm very excited to be a part of this community. Um, as part of my private practice lifespan, I've been in and around the area. So I'm very excited to come here and be part of the, the network. And um, as you've been mentioning all along, uh, how all these services work together. So this is you know part of the great appeal about being part of Lehigh Valley is that we can all work together and um, you know, utilize all the different services across the network. Why did you decide to go into medicine? So I have always had an interest in medicine. Um, I didn't particularly pick podiatry. I think it's a fairly unique, um, it is. a very specific specialty. I didn't start out that way, um, but circumstance kind of led me into um, podiatry and I thought you know okay let's let's see what this is about. And so I came to realize <laughs> that um, you know, in with podiatry, we do everything of the lower extremity. And that means really like every problem set. We're talking about uh, just general sports medicine, as you describe, um, but also just general health of the foot and ankle and lower leg. And so that's, you know. What are some of the, what are some of the problems that you, that someone would have uh, that, that you'd be able to take care of? So, um, in particular, I have a special interest in dealing with um, problem sets that are related to diabetes okay. um, and nerve problems as well. So a lot of these things, um, you might see neuropathy, wounds, these are related to um, diabetic problems. There's a lot of problems, uh, as we see in the lower extremity, um, that are related maybe from somewhere else so people that have back problems you might see it in the lower legs um, but yeah. also you know for diabetes these are people that complain about um, yeah. burning tingling numbness in their feet this is something also that I have a preference to address through other means other than medication so we do have specific treatment plans that we really try to come away from treating with solely oral medications. Um, maybe there's topical treatments, um, some nutritional supplements, all those things we like to um, really introduce differently so that we're not stuck with medications that are just for pain. Wound care, Yes. tell me about that. So um, again, I have a special interest in wound care and not just managing it, but uh, when you know, again, most of the wounds that present on someone are in the lower extremity. After four weeks, you're, you know, you've struggled at home or maybe you're uh, having someone else help you with the treatment and it's not moving along, well then it needs more professional attention. So my goal is really to uh, address this problem long term, not just sort of manage the problem, um, but really provide uh, maybe some advanced techniques and that can be just specialized wound products, things that are not available over the counter, um, and in some cases, using sur surgery techniques to solve the problem long term so that the problem doesn't continue, you know, it doesn't get better, um, and then comes back again. Now, why Lehigh Valley Health Network? You know, you'd have gone anywhere, but you decided to come to Lehigh Valley. Yes, I think the model that, that you see at Lehigh Valley where everyone is working together, we're providing um, services from all different, um, and not just employed physicians, but you know, inviting physicians from the community to be a part of this network and really support the care for the community. And this is, I think, really important um, to provide, it, especially you know, here in Schuylkill, Hazleton, where we're rural, we need all these um, we need all these specialists here, so I think this is very valuable for Lehigh Valley. You know, Valley. the interesting thing about that I, I say about Lehigh Valley Network, I, everyone I've met, I, I've, I've enjoyed meeting, but the point is what the, they do is what we're doing today. You know, you're, the, the viewers are getting an opportunity of understanding who you are and knowing who you are. You can't do that in a 30-second commercial. The 30-second commercial to me is to enhance what we've just said, and that's what I think we're when you're looking about raising the bar, these, 
you just can't find a, a better health organization. And I wish you the best. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my friends, the show is called Your Community Partner. It can be seen uh, channel uh, 190 on Comcast in the Pottsville area. Uh, in the uh, from Mountaintop to Sinclair, we're on channel 13 and our high definition channel 513, and also channel 92 in the um, Wilkesbury Mountaintop area. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Sam at SSPTV.com. We'll see you next time.